guys. Welcome to another episode of Horror at the Store. I'm your host, Katie Hattenbach. Didn't stutter. Honestly, great day. Let's go. It's going to be a great episode. Oh, yeah. I didn't stutter. That's amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, today, he's a comedian. He's a wonderful human being. He has a podcast called The Big Humble. Big Humble? Big Humble. Big Humble. I always add a the in front of things. It's The Big Humble, yeah. The Big Humble. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Because right. yeah, yeah. I, I accidentally said like The Young Rock. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care. It is Morgan. Myself. Myself. Yep. Thank you for having me. You're amazing. Appreciate it. I'm excited I, to do this. I'm excited for you to be here. How are you doing today? I can't complain. Got a little late start. I was supposed to get up and watch Team USA. I set an alarm for 6 a.m. by set for 6 p.m. by accident. Oh, that so was I just woke up to yeah. Dude, I woke up to like 30 text messages from like Bruce Gray. He's like, "Where are you?" And I was like, ah. like "You're like n- not yeah. there. I'm in set, bed. Set the wrong alarm. My bad, dude. I am yeah. sleeping. <laughs> I've been there. I set so many alarms this morning, yeah. and I was like, but then I of course went to actually fell asleep at like 3 a.m. Me too. And I was like, this is going to hurt in mm-hmm. the morning. No, it was like uh, I was anxious like going to sleep because I knew I had to be up early. Yeah. And then uh, I looked and I was like, oh, well, I guess I missed that. Well, the anxiety for oh, nothing. Well. Yeah. I, you know what? You got the sleep you needed. Sure did. Maybe That's not the one you wanted, yeah. <laughs> but the one you needed. And we love to see that. Also love to see this god-awful movie. Okay, so we're all in agreement. This was like a piece of shit, right? Yes. Okay. We, uh, Just making sure. We, no, no. This is a, this is the greatest cinematic uh, <laughs> film in history. What are you talking about? Uh, this is the Ginger Dead Man. Yes, it was. Um, they should have killed the project from the beginning. Starring Gary Busey. Which, again, I was trying to figure out. There's some reference in a movie where they go, Gary Busey. Is it from Honorage? That's what that's what John said, but I don't know. I've never seen Entourage, so how do I know this this reference? You're not missing much, but Gary Busey was just like a great character because he was playing himself. I don't even think they like gave him like any sides or like a script or anything. There, it's like just show up on set. Gary Busey. Yeah, but it's it's not from it's from something else that I've never. I like it's not. He's not in the movie. They like were like oh, oh they just Gary. say his name. Okay, they're like Gary Busey, <laughs> and it's like I don't. I can't. So if anyone knows what it's from, let me know. He is a, he's such a character in real life, too. He used to come here all the time for uh, D's Nuts show on Friday. Oh, my God. And would just make a scene. That's amazing. Yeah, not even, like, on purpose. He would just, like, yeah, he'd leave without paying his tab. Just oh. just full Gary Busey. I mean, like, all you know what? I, don't, I, honestly, I told this story on Justin's podcast. He followed me into a subway once uh, in New York City. He was uh, recording... Uh, the Apprentice, Celebrity Apprentice, and he wanted me to buy cupcakes from him, and he legitimately followed me into the subway, oh, saying, you look like you like cupcakes. And I was like, oh, oh. You're, like, you're like, I do, but that's offensive. I was like, you're not wrong, but also, this is weird. Yeah, I'm this not is... buying a cupcake from Gary Busey also, on an F trick right now. It's insane. <laughs> also, stop following me. Why are you following me also, into the subway? Cupcakes isn't really the thing that you need to track somebody down to sell them to. Hey, if man, they want cupcakes, cup- they're going to get the cupcakes. Were they like in a box? Were they like in his jacket? Just were they in like a pocket? They had, they had a food truck, uh, like a cupcake truck oh. that they were selling from. And they, like, you raise the most money, you get it goes to a charity. Yeah. So I get it. And he wanted to win so nobody like from was, his like, team. He's like stalking people. He's like taking it too far. Because if, you, if your He's, team like, loses, people. you guys. Someone from your team gets voted off. Trump, Mr. President Trump, <laughs> says, oh, okay, hey, that. you didn't sell enough cupcakes. You're off the team. So Got he it. really needed my cupcake purchase, and I just didn't want him following me home. Got so it. I ran quicker. I did not buy a cupcake. Oh I, did, I did get on the train much quicker. Yeah, Gary, what a, what a guy. Oh, my God. What a country we live in. <laughs> what a... Country. What a... Good God, that's terrifying. I would, I yeah. would, I would simply cry. That's that scarier happened. than this movie of Gary Busey was I, I, following I would, me in the would, subway, telling me to buy cupcakes. I would take off running. Yeah, that's terrifying. Honestly, honestly, I think. I, but if if someone is following me, I think I might run at them. Be like, do you want to buy a cupcake? Yeah. <laughs> and I think maybe that would like help him. Like, not. The best part is, you know, he's not doing it in like a warm, welcoming way either. He's like, he's it, just tracking like, you down. You like, you need to buy these cupcakes. You need to fucking buy these cupcakes. You look like you like cupcakes. <laughs> like, stop. You're like, man. that's. <laughs> you're like, that might be offensive and. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, this is also very offensive. You're like, are you calling me fat? Yeah. What's like, what's? Are you insinuating something? Oh, what's God. going on? Um. Oh, before we start, also, I are you a fan of horror movies? Um, I would say I like thrillers. Okay. And like suspense more than just like straight horror. Okay. Well, but yeah, I mean, I watch anything. Clearly. What, what are your 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 favorites? Ooh, so recently, what I watched a couple weeks ago. Oh, Barbarian was pretty good. Okay. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Favorites, Cabin in the Woods. I love that movie. I could watch that at love any that time. Movie. Yeah, 
they like hit it perfectly, like the level of camp and just yeah, it was great. It's wonderful. Yeah, I love that movie. movie. Hell yeah. What's another one I'm thinking of? I mean, The Ring. Obviously, that's a classic. Yeah. Yeah. I like horror movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. That might go to genre. I usually like to just smoke a joint and laugh at something, but you know, you can also do that with horror movies. You too. can. Yeah. There's certain horror movies that are like more joint smokable. Yeah. And enjoyable mm-hmm. than others. Like I feel like Barbarian is not one of them. No, 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 absolutely no. not. No, I, uh, although it is, it was really funny. Everyone's like, it was. Yeah. Everyone's like, it wasn't scary. I'm like, you're right. It wasn't. It was at points there were some scary points, but like I talk about this in another episode. But like, it's it's funny. It's more funny. Yeah. Well, because it's it's written by Zach Kreger, who's mm-hmm. one of the whitest kids you know. Yes. So. And the whole time you're just watching Justin Long be an asshole. And if you're like, it's Justin Long, where you're like, I love him. You're, you're like, like, this guy's really bad. You're like, oh, maybe he's not that bad. You're like, no, no, no. He's like really bad. Yeah, he bad. just continues to be bad throughout he's the like, movie. There's no redeeming quality and about him at he all. He does that on purpose. He's yeah. like, I'm going to pick, he's like, I know everybody loves me. I'm going to pick the shittiest character to be, and they're just going to have to deal with it. And he's smart for that. Yeah, crushed it. But also hate him for that because yeah. I just want to <laughs> love him on stage. I'm like, you're a stage movie. Like, I'm like, you're adorable. But unlike Gary Busey no. and the ginger dead man, um, th- th- that transition fire. Um, this it's he. It opens with Gary Busey just going full Pulp Fiction on yeah. a diner, and immediately I was like, "Did I? I like? I thought I, I missed to, something too. I had to pause, and I was like, "Did I miss like five minutes or like, something? Did it jump like <laughs> on? Because first of all, it's on Tubi." So I was like, oh, yeah. so you know the quality is going to be mm-hmm. excellent. And I was like, oh, I mean, shout out to Tubi. I love Tubi, but like. Yeah. You, well, Gary Busey is the perfect person to cast for that role. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, oh, okay, none of this makes any sense. Like, of course, Gary Busey would just be wilding out in the diner for He's just like, I'm just sh- shooting I don't people? need any backstory here. Gary Busey's doing it. And then he's like, I'm going to spare you for yeah. some reason. <laughs> and then she's like, cr- I'm like, all the, first of all, all the acting was up top. I was like, okay, I'm believing Gary the most. Yeah. And that's, he's just playing himself mm-hmm. at this point. So I'm like holding people hostage for cupcakes or money. Yeah. I don't. What did he want in the beginning? He was I, just he just was a serial killer. No, there's no. Yeah, they don't tell you. They're just like. Yeah, there's I'm, so much information left out of this movie. Yeah, it's, they're like the motive. We really don't know. He just he just be killing. Yeah, he just be killing. <laughs> he just be killing. And does he? He dies. Yes, but they're very unclear about that too. Again, I was like, did he die? But then somehow, his and then it it, it like. Yeah, flash fast forward. forward. Yep. You know the girl. She's working at a a bakery with her coworker, lover, friend. I, I, I don't know. I think he wanted a little bit more, and she didn't. She's like friend zone. Ha ha! You're so funny. He's like, I want to fuck. Yeah, but you. also he friend zoned himself. You can't invite a girl to a wrestling match, dude. Yeah, that's really yeah. weird. That's, <laughs> that's not like, like that's doing? not. You gotta. Is, is she into that? Yeah, I, I don't mean, care if it's sh- Waco, Texas, and there's nothing else going on that year. Like, yeah, that's like, not you, the move. You do anything else. Anything else. Also. Waco, isn't that where like a lot of like yeah. the talent they try to sundown? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seems like a bad. Why would you go do anything in that yeah. town? I would just no. stay home. Yeah, I would leave Waco. Personally. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would go to any other place. Yeah, yeah that seems like a good <laughs> option. Um, and also, isn't her name Sarah? Was it? I, I'm pretty. The thing is, I, I, I get a name. There's there's <laughs> this running thing in every horror movie that like when they can't decide what to name someone, they name it them Sarah. Sarah, okay. There's you, as soon as you notice it, everyone's fucking named Sarah. But it's all it's either Sarah without an H or with an H. Thank, thankfully, hers with is with an H. That's so we about. respect her a little bit more. I saw something else the other day. It's, it's like a lazy writing technique that like they'll name a lot of women Samantha in movies. I've never seen just it so like the protagonist can call her Sam, so it makes it looks like they have like a deeper relationship instead of actually doing the work. I hate that. Yeah, me too. I hate that so much. Wow, that's a deep cop <laughs> But also writing that down. Do Samantha yeah. for more things. <laughs> Sarah and Samantha, all my characters, every movie, forever and ever. Oh. Um, what like what stood out to you for this movie? Okay, like, so good, we, I mean, if we want to start from the beginning, uh, we can jump around. Wherever. Yeah, so they're they're heard the guys asking her to like a thing, and then they get like a delivery of like uh, the yeast or whatever. But it's not the yeast. But I don't know what it. Yeah, it's not. But then you see this like cloaked guy like walking away, and she like fully sees him. It's like okay, maybe this isn't delivery. You want to accept and bring inside. Yeah, but like he's in a cloak. Normally a UPS guy's not yeah. in a cloak. <laughs> At the, you know, you have on the uniform. Yeah, you wouldn't be like, hey, there's a guy in a cloak. You know, I'm gonna bring whatever. He, yeah. <laughs> it's like that's that's how weird shit happens. Yeah, but of and it's course, like oh, they we have weren't no expecting logic. a delivery today. Fuck it. 
I mean, if a cloak guy brings me a package, I'm going to yeah. open it. I don't know what else <laughs> like, to do. What are we doing here? Yeah. So there was that. Then this is the most unsanitary bakery I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, it's life. disgusting. The dude cuts himself onto the flour or whatever that the cloak guy uh, bought over. Blood's and, just dripping. Yeah. In. And then they still make the gingerbread man out of it. Yeah. And the, the like, the yeast and, like, gingerbread mix or whatever yeah. is like steaming and you're like oh well that's obviously what are good. we doing here guys but but it's steamed for like a really long time it's yeah. like oh they really want to let us know hey this is magic yeah that yeah they some, went out of their way to tell us they're like uh-huh. we're gonna do about like at least two minutes of <sighs> this and we're gonna keep cutting back just to make sure you guys know so you don't forget this is when it But happens. just any bit of cleanliness would be like, okay, we have no ginger dead man because the dude bled. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, he's like, meh, let's swim. And then the, uh, the Sarah, her sister, friend? I think the, it was her the friend. girl, what, yeah. he was like, oh, I'm going to shut this place down for what, health code violations? Yeah. And I'm like, you just, <laughs> you broke several. Just all of you're also, none no, of you. please shut it down. Like, none of you are in hairnets. None of you, like, this is not FDA yeah. friendly. I like, didn't see a sink the entire movie. Yeah, yeah. no one washed their hands. No, like, it's, it, yeah, they're, they're just gross. bleeding they're and just <laughs> snotting everywhere. Um, and then they made this. They make a huge gingerbread man. But they only make one. Yeah. Because that's because they only make one at a time. <laughs> Not a good bakery. Everything takes a really long time yeah. to make. They want to make sure everything's just right. So they just, you know, make sure and that... And nothing's right. And nothing's <laughs> right. Everything's, everything's wrong. wrong. Yeah. And the way they decorate this gingerbread is just... It's just well, the eyes wonky. and the buttons are the same thing. Yeah, there's yeah, just Yeah, and they just and put like a little slit through like, the mouth. And they're like, that's it. That, that yeah. was... And then... All of a sudden, yeah, and they put him in the oven. Put him in the oven. Yeah, and he and pops Gary, out. Gary Busey's bag. Gary Busey's bag, <laughs> in a g- g- gingerbread man puppet. He's just a puppet. Yeah, He's just a hand. Which is my favorite uh, genre is horror movies that are so bad that the killer is just a hand puppet. Yeah, and it's clearly just the person holding the. It's a hand puppet, and then this. like, but they did like they made like a puppet face too for when they do close ups. Yes, just put Gary Busey in makeup. That would, yeah, have been it would have been so, so much better. Good. It's just the puppet's mouth is like moving, but it's like off, and it's just like it, it looks so stupid. But it's Gary Busey. Just put Gary Busey. And then when they zoom in, it's just yeah. Gary Busey. But then when they zoom out, it's yeah. You just have the hand puppet again, but just make that it Gary Busey so makeup. Good. Let's use Gary Busey here. That would have been fantastic. He's like, I, he did not get paid enough for that. No, I no one got. I, you know what? Everyone was overpaid for this. Everyone was way overpaid. <laughs> yeah. This whole movie was, yeah. this movie was and, way overpaid. And the fact that there's like three more. Is, there's like seven. Is there? Yeah. So, you know the Evil Bong oh franchise? God. No, you yeah, make kind of. Okay, so, but there's like Evil Bong versus Ginger Dead movies. Because I texted John, and I was like, there's literally like 14 of these. Which one was it? <laughs> he was like the first one. I was like, so all right. So many. You know, yeah, it's, uh, I, I where, don't know who's watching these. Where else can you, and, and, and does Gary Busey, is this, is, oh, this yeah. how, is this how he's making his money? I, I. All of these movies? I can't imagine. Could you imagine his his like livelihood is off of this? I I hope not. So like us watching it on Tubi like gave him like two dollars. <laughs> I'll I'll be happy if that's actually you know, that'd be amazing. Like like Gary Busey two dollars. <laughs> he um, needs it more than I do. Yeah, and then I don't know. The gingerbread man comes alive. I kind of get lost for like the next thirty minutes or so. Honestly, the whole movie I was yeah, lost. it's a mess. I was like, what's I don't know what. And he's just killing people. Yeah. He's killing people, but he he's trying to get to Sarah, maybe. Yeah. But they're all like in his way, and then there's like this weird love triangle between the blonde girl, the what was his name like Ace or something like that. Yeah, something like the guy with the gun. Yeah. And uh, her, yeah, it was. Oh, the guy with the eyebrow piercing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they had oh, they had a food fight. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember the food. That fight. That was weird. I was Very like, this is, this is the word. Like they're like, she's like, oh, it was with the um, Sarah and the love triangle girlfriend, and she's like. Oh, I'm gonna shut you down. They're like, no, you're not. And they just start throwing food yeah. at each other. But it's like the worst food fight I've ever seen in my like I've like there in cinema. There's been some good food fights. Obviously, this isn't a cinematic masterpiece. No, it. But it's like a a bad student film. It doesn't like even a student film. Honestly, could have been. Well, yeah, because they have like metrics that they have to like uh, hit, like a plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you know, character like, development. Like have it make yeah, some sense. anything. Yeah. yeah. 
And even like a world of make believe, I'm still just like, this is unbelievable. <laughs> why would anyone do this? I'm like, this is why would you do that? Like, why would you pick up a don't? I, I want to eat yeah. that donut. I don't want to throw it. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I wouldn't want to eat anything in that bakery. No, I would never. Yeah, I'm kind of off bakeries now. After yeah, this movie. After, this, after this movie, I'm like Gary Busey and bakeries. Yeah, no more oh. for me. No more baked goods. Um, are you a g- g- gingerbread fan though? No? Um, hmm. I don't even know if it would make my top ten cookies. I don't think I've ever had one. I've had one when I was little, but it's like, why? I, For what? They, I feel like they smell good. Yeah. But like. That is true. I don't know if I want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. Yeah, yeah. I it's one of those things where it. the smell is great, but it's like, I don't. Yeah. I don't Just give me a chocolate chip. Yeah, I like, I like that better. Yeah. Like so Any not, other cookie in Oreo. It's, it's not like a good. Like, I've never seen anyone be like, oh, we're making gingerbread men for the jolly holiday yeah well here's You're the like, thing if it's not a thing that you don't if it's like you only make gingerbread cookies for little kids yeah because it's fun because like, only process. children have yeah them. but yeah, when you're an adult you're like i'm not eating this shit it's yeah terrible. i'm an adult yeah. what are you gross i have got them i have class <laughs> i have actual money now i have class I'm gonna, I a, I'm gonna eat a chocolate chip <laughs> cookie yeah because <laughs> that's better and i have class 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. gingerbread absolute oh. absolute shit we've decided amazing um and then what else? I'm trying to think of like scenes that like jumped it's out at me. Out. I like towards the end the the guy with the was it the guy with the gun? Let's just call him guy with the gun because I guy, don't guy with the him. gun with the um the eyebrow piercing who's like every like he's giving like ev- like 90s yeah. like horror movie camp yeah and we're like we love it like with like the very uh like greasy gelled hair that's like in front of his He's just face. kind of a scumbag. Yeah. Oh, I remember the scene that jumped out at me. There you go. Oh, there's, it was like two like in succession. So uh, when the ginger dead man is operating the car, they actually did us like a little bit of a favor here. Cause uh-huh. like I see him driving the car. It's like, he can't drive the car. He's a foot tall. Oh yeah. But they, they give us like a quick shot of him, like uh, pushing like an umbrella or something so he could hit uh, the accelerator. And then Damn, he smart. he runs her dad over going like three miles an hour. God, I love to see it. Yeah, it was, I was like, well, he can't be actually dead. He's no, he's he's gone at three yeah. miles an hour. No, you're you're toast. And then That's... so then like ten minutes later, uh, the ginger dead man he slices the blonde girl's face. And yeah. She, and then she's like, oh, my dad's dead. He's like, but my face, my face. I was like, your father's done. Like, he's outside bleeding out. Then, You're worried wait, about a cut in your face. And then she, no, she, that's the, where she falls into like the laundry cart thing. And then the one yeah. friend finds her and is like, oh my God. And she's like, my face, but my dad's dead. Yeah, my but my face, face is yeah. cut. <laughs> my, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to live. Yeah. My, my dad's dad is dead, but I'm dead. Maimed. Yeah, this is, oh God. He died an embarrassing death, but my face is cut. My beautiful, beautiful face. <sighs> Is cut. My modeling career is over because yeah. I have a giant scar now from a ginger. From a ginger dead man. man. <laughs> that's that's Gary Busey. That's, yeah. that's that ruined my career. It's like if you were trying to sell this to someone, they'd they'd be like, "This is a joke, right?" They'd be like, "This is." Where are the cameras? This, there's no way you're actually trying be to be like. This how movie. high were you? What what yeah. drugs were you yeah. on when you made this? <laughs> What made you think were they making were they making gingerbread cookies? They just take you to rehab. Got really high and we're like, yo, what if this came alive? Wait, no, no, no. What if it was Gary Busey? Yeah. <laughs> He's a serial killer. <laughs> Hear me out. And he just goes on a rampage and kills a bunch of girls. One of them named Sarah. What do you think? And they're like, some guys like. Yeah, yeah, let's fucking yeah, do, it. Let's, no, do it. let's do that's it. Let's do it. And then they, and then, and then, like the next. Gary episode, Busey, you say? The, yeah. uh, yes, the hottest, the hottest actor. Yes, please, Gary. If you're listening to this, though, we love you. We appreciate you. And the other scene that I thought was hilarious. <laughs> they're like, uh, they're in like the big room. I guess it's like the kitchen. Yeah. And it's just a uh, guy with the gun and Sarah. And the gingerbread man like cackles, like he's like laughing in one area, and the guy just fires off like three rounds into the area. And he's, it's like you you can't see him. He's like, <laughs> you're I'm just hit him. wasting bullets. It's a six shooter, dude. Like it's, save those. He's like, no, I got this. I and got he's this. Like, bang, bang, bang. Like, he's like, all right, tight. I think like, we got him. Red man just like laughing again. And then wait, no, it was the the jock friend, like the guy who's like hey. the wrestling guy. Yeah, the yeah. friend zone. He was like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fight the ginger dead man. I'm gonna fight him. So he starts fighting. Or was it the the guy with the? I got them mixed up. They honestly, all the characters went yeah. together. They're all the same. Um, I th- honestly scratch that. Ignore what I just said. It was the 
goth, not the goth, the guy, I rub piercing guy. Okay, guy with gun. He, the guy gun. He was like, I'm gonna fight this guy. And then he takes a bite out of him. He like rips off his head. Cause I'm like, he's just a cookie. Yeah. He's just a cookie. Eat they him. are battling a cookie. He's just, just you're battling yeah. a cookie. Oh, it's, it's true. Yeah. It's like, it's not, it's not hard. You uh, put him in some milk and he'll fucking yeah, disintegrate. Spray him with water, dog. Dra- yeah, like, like, dra- like, like I, there's quick. a lot of yeah, ways yeah. around this. You're like, I'm going to bring a gun. No, you don't need a gun. No, it's yeah, just, you need a hose. It's just, it's literally <laughs> anything else. Hot, hot water, literally. You got a faucet? Like, but they don't because they Because they don't have yeah, a yeah. That's why this. That's why they had to think outside the box. Oh, it's like, God. oh, we don't have any cell phone service. Oh, we don't have a sink. What do we do? We can't call for help. Ugh. What do there was, a, there was a great line, too, earlier in the movie where uh, he was complaining. He was like, yeah, we'll get your cell phone. He's like, if it's charged. And I was like, been there, brother. <laughs> yeah, like, I know what that's like. Yeah, like of course your phone's dead when we need it. Yeah. God, it's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you know, back then it was harder to charge cell oh, yeah. phones. They would charge for 30 minutes. To find an outlet, everything was just the worst. Oh. Um, but this guy, so he eats the cookie, uh-huh. he eats the head, and he's got like, like Gary, the the yeah. the cookies, like ah, and then he's like, oh my god, his like body is squirming, but he eats the head, and he's like, but is it? I think it's blood on his mouth mm-hmm. now, because now because it's, it's, but isn't it his blood? I don't, because I thought it was a guy that went to the wrestling match. He came back after the match. One and of then, those guys. One and of those then guys he died. was he ate he ate the cookie, right? And then to save the day. Yeah. And then he turned into. Yeah, because everyone's like, oh, we're leaving. And then it's finally this, like, cute romantic moment with, the you know, Sarah and this guy. And she, like, looks up and his face is, like, all distorted. And it's like, he's like, I'm the cookie now. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, this is, like, the mask, but worse. (sighs) Um, And he's like, I'm going to kill you. (laughs) Like, (laughs) that'd be terrifying to be like, oh, look at this guy. You know what? I might finally get a good relationship, Mm -hmm. finally. And you're like... Gary Busey, not yeah, again. Yeah. Like, God. The guy turns into Gary Busey. Stop. <laughs> Gary, stop possessing everyone. Damn oh, it. God. Not again. And then, I don't, how does it end? Oh, I remember how it ends. How does so it end? So, it's that exact scene. He's like, I'm going to get you. Like, uh, I'm going to kill you, Sarah. And then, like, uh, I don't know where this other, oh, that's when the guy with the, whatchamacallit, the wrestling guy comes back. Yes. Because then they trick him. And they like push him into the oven. Oh yes, and then yes, close the yes. Door. Yeah, yes. And then they just again could have been done from the beginning. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we could have done a lot of things from the beginning. You could have put him in like a sack and then throw him in. Yeah. But you're like, no, I'm gonna run away from a cookie. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You know, I get it. I get it. I don't. But yeah, I, get I it. mean, it was, if you, it was if, a wild ride. How about we just let's just pretend for a second, okay? If you were working at a bakery mm-hmm. and you made any type of cookie. And doesn't have to be, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, it came to life and was a serial killer. You're telling, I, you know, we're like, oh, we would do this, but wouldn't you be so freaked out that there's just a walking, talking cookie? Yeah, but you know, I think my adrenaline would let me handle the situation. Okay. It's also just like, I, I, I snapped, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I figured something out. For also, sure. How tall was he? I feel like you could just step on him. And yeah, he was like, uh, what, 10 inches? Yeah. 12, yeah, it's like a foot. I'm fucking that cookie up. <laughs> cookie does not stand a chance. <laughs> Especially if I'm like fight or flight. Yeah, You're bye like, cookie. Absolutely done. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Also, I have a dog. He would have destroyed that cookie. Well, he, well <laughs> yeah. who knows? He would have stabbed the dog. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. The cookie. It was a very strong cookie. You're right. I know. It was a big he's, knife. <laughs> he's, he's got some. Yeah. I mean, I, the, the, the fact that he could hold it and not like topple over. Yeah. Like no, it probably he, weighed more than him. Yeah. So like the... Like if we're if we're going like if we're going with the lore and the scientific logic, he would have murdered that dog. My dog's pretty big. Okay, yeah, never he's mind. He's like a seventy pound poodle. Never mind. He might. Yeah, the cookie would have stabbed him like a couple times, but yeah, yeah me and me like, and Papa Georgie would have beat the shit out of that cookie yeah. for sure. <laughs> I feel like I would be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I probably would get up on a chair and be like, okay, let me think if I can think of anything to do, and then I probably would just lock him in the building. Burn down the whole building. Yeah, I, and just something. Maybe just leave. I'm not dying from a cookie. I'm gonna yeah. drive away. That's kind well, of well. Actually, my current diet, I probably am gonna die from a cookie <laughs> or an accumulation of many cookies. That's fair. So same. I shouldn't speak too soon. Same. Honestly, but, same. Yeah. <laughs> that is where we are oh, all damn, headed. Oh damn, the cookie's gonna win in the end. Honestly, 
Is that a bad way to go? Well, no, no, yeah, no. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great job. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies? Let's go. Let's go. Um, so out of 10. Oh, zero. Z- <laughs> yeah, for sure. This was trash. <laughs> I was happy when I saw it was only an hour and 10 minutes. I was like, all right, I yeah, was like, this is gonna go this quick. This is gonna yeah, go quick. Let's, but also, let's hurry this up. It dragged. Yeah, even the last twenty minutes, I was like, are you fucking kidding like, me? There's so twenty minutes left. How much longer? Of the movie. I saw. It was, I was like, oh, it's only been ten minutes. I'm like, oh, there's so much left. Um, I'm not gonna say it's the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's 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 in that. Uh, um, that. Yeah, I gave it. I gave it a one. A one. Um, That's generous. You know, because I you know I wanted to give it on the scale. Yeah, you know, I gave it a one because, you know. Yeah, it, you got to give it some. I feel it like. was fun. It was fun. I never, I'm never gonna watch it again. No. Um, but uh, it was, it was, it was a f- an interesting ride. See, here's the thing though. I think like by the time we get to like Ginger Dead Man Four, they probably have it figured out. You, I would might think, check out one of the later ones. You would think, you would think like like in all these horror movies when they keep like, oh, like Freddy's back, sc- yeah. you know, Ghostface back, Michael's back. Haven't you figured out how to fucking kill them by now? Like it's been, he's the cookie. Yeah. Like what? What does he have a chainsaw now? Could you imagine? <laughs> That'd be pretty sick, actually. <laughs> don't. Gary Busey <laughs> as. Now, if you tell me there's a movie with uh, Gary Busey as a murderer and he has a chainsaw, I don't care if he's a cookie or not. I'll check that out. You're like that's yeah. that, that sounds like something I'm gonna watch. I'll watch. I'll watch. High yeah. or not, that's the yeah. movie I'm watching. That's the movie I'm watching. Um, amazing. Well, thank you for being here today. Do you have anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, Big Humble Podcast. You can find us every Tuesday wherever you listen to podcasts, and Wednesday on YouTube. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. This was fun. Uh, of course. Yeah. You're amazing. And thank you to our sponsor, FYE. You can check them in store or at FYE.com. And guys, we will see you next time. Stay spooky.